how were you feeling going into that game? We were going up against a team that was blazing hot, that was 38 and 0. 38 and 0. But I knew, one, well, unfortunate for them, that one of the things that was standing in the way of a perfect season was your boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were pretty confident. Well, if I'm being honest, I was nervous. I mean, you don't play in those kind of games without any kind of nerves. But you're right, you know, I was confident too. You know, I, was, I was feeling it a little bit. But in moments like that, you have to be you know, or else the team won't come with you. Mm. They've got to look at you and see that you're the guy that's going to take them there. They don't want to see any cracks. You have to be solid. Right. So in that moment, you learn how to dial in. So can you walk me through that game? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the story starts the day before the game. Um, I was meeting my soon-to-be agent, Ricky. So that's what you're going to get from me. A hustler that's willing to put your needs in front of his own. And I'm telling you now, I have never had a single client that was unhappy with my representation. Okay, all right. How many clients you got? Uh, well, just one. But, <laughs> just but look, I'm, I'm telling you, he really likes me, just, man. Okay. Not just because we're friends first. What's this client's name, then? It's MP. But the, the, the other one. MP? MP? <laughs> Yo, that's where I know you from. You're the guy who got him into all that big YouTube stuff, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm a big fan, yo, man. Yo, bro, I thought you were only coming for more support, man. Yeah, I thought you was meeting with a random agent. You got to sign with this dude, bro. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it's not where, you know, having two clients by the name of MP. Like, of all the names someone can name somebody, we both end up as MP. Hey, look, uh, life's a mystery, man. And mm. If I'm being honest with you, I'm just trying to corner the market on guys with those initials. And you are the only thing in the way stopping me from completing the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to think about it, man. Well, that's I all I can go. ask. I gotta I go. will, yeah, good luck tomorrow, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk soon. That was abrupt. Yeah. You know people say I remind them of the original MP? Yeah, no, not that guy. Yeah. Yeah, I can kind of see that, actually. Like in, a, in an alternate universe or something? You know, like a, like a rap career? Fashion designer. <laughs> yeah, maybe like an apartment. Another apartment. Another apartment they all kind of look alike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that'd be wild. Hey, well, it was nice meeting you, man. Yes, sir. How did you know that? Thanks for asking. It's been fun, a lot really? of work, but... Hey, oh, I didn't know if I should say anything that looked official. It's all right, it's all right. What are you doing here? Well, it's the national championship game, and they needed a little extra support, so the AD gave me some free tickets. Yeah, they're incredible seats, so I can sell them for a huge profit. <laughs> Kidding. Hey, so I've been thinking about what MP, I spoke we about. gotta go. We You're about to be late, it. man. You are not about to embarrass yourself. Mila. Hey, Ryan. How you doing, girl? MP, let's go. Uh huh. Hey, MP. You got this. Thanks. Welcome everyone to the college basketball championship game presented by 2K Sports. Joined by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt. We're delighted to have you with us. And tonight it'll be the Gonzaga Bulldogs going up against the Syracuse Orange. And for Agnew, Brown, and Parham, they're on the verge of greatness. Sitting at 38-0 on the season, they're looking great. Yeah, but that won't mean a thing if they can't finish the job. A win here would be the crown jewel in their season. You know, Greg, that's a lot of pressure to put on one game. But the talent they have is unquestionable. They want nothing more than... ...to cap off this great run. 
You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. You no know doubt about it. The defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. Now, here's Agnew. Over MP. And that one goes long. And you've got to think it's going to be about defense for MP and his crew. And that's what has led them to this point. Played great D against Deion Wright in the semis. And it's been a strength of this team all year long. But it won't be easy against a three-headed monster like this. Here's Agnew. Pass to Brown. Booker. Yes. And the nice assist from Brown. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. Didn't take him long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. And here's Agnew. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Red Thompson. MP outside. MP can't get that one to fall. Brown with it. Now guarded by MP. Shot from 16. Brown's shot is off. Here's MP. Six points for him. Launches a three. It's hauled in by Daniels. Agnew left side to the middle Daniels laid in with a nice touch off the glass and with their big three this team has been number one in the nation from the get-go hard to beat a trio like this huh guys and the three of them play off of each other so well for us it's you know really hard to gain an edge on them shooting defense and playmaking they, they do it all one of the best big threes we've ever seen at the college level no surprise to see them here in the finals baskets good i tell you what it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this scene puts up a three and again it's syracuse with a three and you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. <laughs> it has been his BFF today anyway. Most of his points have been courtesy of the deep ball. And here's Agnew for three. No good. And Syracuse will come the other way. And here's MP from beyond the arc. Sinks the three-pointer. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Agnew outside from deep. And the Bulldogs, another three. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. And here's MP for three. Buries it from long range. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. Well, they've been grit and grind, working for those high percentage shots. And quite honestly, it's paid off for them. And MP and the rest of this roster, they've played their best when it's mattered most, you guys. Had some scares early in the tournament, and you know sometimes that happens. But they've been lights out as the field dwindles down. I think it shows you their mental toughness. Pass to Parham. The charity stripe shot. That doesn't go either for Agnew. Syracuse in the lead. And here's MP from beyond the arc. And again, it's the orange from deep. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. And you know, it's an all-out effort they've come in with. Very aggressive offense so far. And here's Agnew for three. The rebound by the orange. And I like the bold move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Bangs on the trifecta. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. And I like the strategy. It's a great strategy. Bury those threes early, and it'll open up the inside for them later on. Torres with the ball. Pass to Hawkins. Hawkins. 
Levins. They need this. Jamison inside. Dennis on him. Hawkins. And once again off the mark by Gonzaga. This Gonzaga Bulldogs basketball program, I mean, wow. They made Spokane a destination city, making the smaller conferences proud. Time called here. The Bulldogs decide to talk it over. What a powerhouse they've developed up here in the Pacific Northwest. I mean, tournament run after tournament run. They just keep producing. They've been doing this now for over two decades. And I don't see it slowing down. Now Crawford. Pass to Hawkins. Fires from deep. Jackson grabs the board. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Exactly. But at the other end, it's one bucket after the other. This run is getting out of hand right now. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And here's MP from beyond the arc. And again, it's the orange from deep. He's definitely making his presence felt here in the first half. He's been very effective so far. To stop the drought, Hawkins can't hit. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. Yeah, clearly a brain fade there. He's got to be a little smarter in his choice making. Here they are, rare ground for Gonzaga. Some doubted that they'd ever get here. This group has proved them wrong. There's Torres with the three. Gonzaga gets it back. To the paint. Here's Crawford. And Dennis pulls it down. And the orange with possession here. And here's MP for three. Hits it from three-point range. And if you don't think this group is hearing it from the doubters, you guys, <laughs> think again. Boy, they really want to be on the right side of history. This 21-22 team trying to add champions to their name. Here's Agnew. He's got five. And the defense really pressing up on him made that a tough shot. Pass to MP. He lets go from deep. That falls. Nice feed that time from Red Thompson. Excellent decision by Red Thompson, showing you he's got some point guard skills even though he plays the two. Now here's Agnew, defended by Miller. Now here's Agnew. Yes, count it. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. A nice shot by MP. One thing that stands out about Gonzaga, the amount of NBA talent they've been producing, you guys. A, a few first-round picks, one of which was all-star DeMontis Sabonis. Not to mention Brandon Clark, Zach Collins, Rui Hachimura. I mean, the list goes on. Now here's Brown. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. And here's Agnew. Ball get four. Levens. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Launches it. And another three from MP. What a half he's having from downtown. He's been locked in since the moment he stepped on the They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. It's good from long range. 
maxing baskets from the perimeter, an earmark of today's game. Trading spray guns from long range, trading blows from behind the arc. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. Agnew outside. Parham. Back to Agnew. Sixteen feet out. The rebound by the Orange. And what a big moment for the Syracuse basketball program right here. A chance for the second national championship in school history. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Brown. Back to Agnew. Now Brown. Levens. And here's Parham. Takes the three. The shot off that time. MP outside. That shot's good on the assist by Red Thompson. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. He is delivering a lot of room. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. And what do you make of the performance we saw from MP in the first half? He has been unstoppable at the offensive end, scoring with ease. Well, he has a knack for putting the ball in the bucket, and until the defense manages to slow him down, they'll keep getting the ball in his hands. Here's Booker. Right side, Brown. And James pulls it down. And here's MP from beyond the arc. And again, it's Syracuse with a three. And with those points, MP has set a new record. Most points ever in a college tournament game. And to do it in the finals, that's special. He's been unguardable all game long. What an incredible night for MP. And when you look at MP, you wonder what his role will be in the NBA. Great intangibles, but you wonder if his game will translate. Yep, he's their leading scorer in this game and has been the dominant figure today, no doubt about it. Agnew with it. He has seven. Here's Brown. Here's Parham. That's good as he hits both shots. Now MP. Non-stop scoring machine here. Pass to Starks. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. You can't stop him. Thompson with the ball. You can't stop him. Wolf. You can't stop him. MP outside. You on the shot clock from D. Bulldogs with the rebound. And if MP does declare after this season, many view him as a late first round, early second round prospect. And you know, that seems about fair for where MP is right now in terms of his draft position that's projected. But I don't think you can question his drive and will to compete. People love that about him. He could end up a much better prospect than a late first rounder. When you look at the three years that MP has been here, a lot of great moments for him already. You wonder if he'll add another here in the championship game. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Screen by Parham. Agnew. Pass to Daniels. Booker with it. He's guarded by West. 
Agnew, right side. The 19-footer is on the money. And for MP, he decided to stay in school longer than many thought. He did, and there were questions if that was the right choice. But he's clearly grown his game while here. A great college career, and he can still add to it tonight. From 12 feet out, the shot, no good. MP outside, the three. And again, it's Syracuse with the three. And what a competitor. I mean, he's been looking for a shot all game long. He shouldered almost the entire load for them offensively. Agnew, right side, over MP, buries the 20-footer. And how's that for a move, the killer crossover? It's a thing of beauty. And as we watch MP here in the championship game, guys, many feel it will be the last time he suits up for his school. And there's been a lot of talk of MP declaring for the draft. It probably makes sense for him. Adding a college title to his resume would be the icing on the cake. And Daniels gets it to go. You have to be disciplined on defense. Biting on every pump fake isn't going to get it done. And here's MP for three. Three-pointer is on target. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Boy, I like the disposition and attitude since halftime. They're patiently looking for good shots. The Bulldogs on offense. Now here's Agnew. He's got 11 over MP. Second chance shot. The shot by Parham, no good. And here's MP for three. Good on the three-point shot. And that's a good glimpse of Kai's tremendous court vision. Sees the open man and gets it to him before the D has a chance to react. Screen by Parham. And here's Agnew for three. And the Bulldogs, another three. And how about the payback there, guys? You do you, I do me. Well, we've seen it before. He doesn't have any problem trading shots with anybody. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. Well, it sounded as though, or at least it looked as though it sounded like, we'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. Pass to Booker. West with some nice D. MP outside. And again, it's the orange from deep. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shots, that lead's going to expand. They get it back. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance we are seeing. I tell you what, I don't know what he did in the locker room, but he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. Defense, 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 and here's Agnew. Defense, defense, Pass to Booker defense, to halt the run. Defense, defense, Wolf pulls it in. MP outside from downtown. And again, it's the orange from deep. And, and since the break, he's just been money from beyond. When he's this hot, the green light just doesn't seem to get any greener. Here's Parham. Back to Agnew. There's the three. And Dennis pulls it down. Boy, just by his body language, when you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah. It seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. That is some real serious dime dropping there. Exquisite assist. They're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And here's Agnew from beyond the arc. No good on the shot. So Syracuse will take it the other way. For three. And another three from MP. What are they thinking leaving him with all that space out there? Do they not know? Have they not heard that this guy is unbelievable? That's a layup for him. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Yeah, quick trigger. And from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. And the three ball is good. 
And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Here's Agnew. And for Billy Agnew, he'll be in the NBA next season. Most figure he'll be one of the first point guards off the board. Hard to pass on a talent like this. Here's MP. And it's Syracuse with another. Agnew with it. Screen by Parham. From outside the arc, Syracuse with the rebound. And with Agnew, a lot of where he'll go depends on how the lottery shakes out. You know, any team that needs a point guard, I think would jump at the chance to draft Agnew. He's a terrific leader and a natural playmaker. Exactly the kind of player who makes an early impact. Now here's Agnew, guarded closely. Tipped. Now MP. Fires for three. And again, it's the orange from deep. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Now here's Agnew. Outside, Brown to end the run. That's good, and it's Agnew with the assist. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. You cannot leave him alone like that, especially from long range. You know, I just can't get enough of Agnew's game. I mean, I enjoy watching him play. It's got kind of an old-school feel to it. He very much loves to pass and set up others, which is definitely old-schoolish. Brown. Pass to Booker. Down to five on the shot clock. And the three off target. And here's MP from beyond the arc. Drains the three-pointer. And once they smell blood in the water, you can see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, not taking any chances, Greg. This is how you close a game out. Textbook. And Agnew gets it to go. And that was pretty. A beautiful move to set up the jump shot. It's two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Drops in the tray. Gonzaga with the ball. And here's Booker to the inside. Daniels. And Dennis pulls it down. And here's MP from beyond the arc. And again, it's the orange from deep. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Back new outside. Oh, and it's over. The Syracuse Orange are the new college. Oh, what the hell? Hey, man, you keep balling like that. Oh, you know, come on, baby. Come on. Let's go. It wasn't, it wasn't worth letting you get away. MP, well, you should be celebrating okay, look, with your I don't team. know if you know this, but, guy, but your whole team is over there without their captain, man. It's, it's kind of way. Come on, Mila, man. I love you, and I know that you love me, too. I know you miss me, so MP. tell me you don't. Tell me you don't. Well, tell him. I know, but we've been over this. It's complicated, oh, man, and come I just, on, just I stop. Look, 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 okay? He's been a mess since you guys split, and honestly, it's pathetic. He sits on the bus, and he cries. Yes, you do. Look, and you... Come on, Mila, you came all this way for a free ticket. No, you love this boy. So stop playing and let's figure it out. Quickly, please, right. come on. I mean, if you're gonna have that baby agent come I saw yesterday be representing here, then I, I think you might need me around for some advice. <laughs> what are you doing, homie? Bad, huh? okay. <sighs> Beautiful, now that this is settled, can we please go back to what's important? Yes. And that's me, celebrating <laughs> with my team, my home team, the National Championship. Oh, 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 oh,